Oh, look at him maybe shake hands to start this match. Good sportsmanship here. Yeah, I like to see this. Or, or, oh, no. I don't like oh, seeing that. Sportsmanship. This is what I like to see. Let him fight. Well, that's going to fire him up for sure. Hey, maybe they shouldn't have taken the bait, right? I agree with you, Cole. These two can't stand one another. I don't know why anyone. Referee in position. Two count. His shoulder up after that two count. I'm surprised he wasn't able to kick out sooner. Hitman never saw that coming. Shot connects. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Very effective. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Sudden cutoff from Brett. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Held in a perilous position. Lands face first. Turns it around. Sole of the foot meets the stomach. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, that was inventive. Elbow drop. Uh oh. Stops the attack with a hit to the gut. Ah, down on the fake. Oh, no, it's roll up. And bypasses the pinfall. Impressive one count, but still very early. And leg sweep. And Corey, what's the best way to counter a technical master like Bret Hart? Simply put, you have to have done your homework. But also, you have to think on your feet. Bret is going to surprise you at some point. So you have to sort of make sure you're in a position to come up with some kind of answer. Able to get the advantage here. To the gut, too. Sound the alarm. Air raid crash. Here's the cover. Near fall for the hitman. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. He reverses it. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. Their competition. He thinks he has it. Barely kicks out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Hard as flight in mind. Lift off. What? They got all of that. Just taking flight and soaring through the sky. A flat out power into the scoop slam. Oh, stomping away. Oh! Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. Beats the count out, and what a close call! Set up for the side rush and leg sweep. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Retaliation from the hitman. Cover, shoulders are down. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Very close. The T clearly set again. No. Oh, a neck breaker. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Oh, that was nasty to watch. Finding no. Uh oh. Somersault plancha to the floor. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Just one step ahead. Roundhouse on the mark. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Able to interrupt the attack. 
running leg drop. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. Red Hart stepping through the hitman. Got to find a way out of the sharpshooter. And does just that. What a four. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Big time move coming up. Taken to him in a major way. Yeah, Brett being fit. High risk. Oh, look out below. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. <laughs> Arm ringer in control. They're going to have to try to fight out of this. Body shots connecting. And he gets set back into the ring. After all we've seen, these men are still not. Our oh, step through. Here it comes. Bret Hart. Sharp shooter. Sharp shooter. Submission hold locked in. Bret Hart wins. What an incredible match. Here is your winner, Bret the Hitman Hart. Came into this match with a chip on their shoulder with something to prove and they just delivered. Congratulations. Well, it looks like the earlier show of disrespect really lit a fire underneath them. Oh, uh, kind of like you and Byron, Corey. Oh, you could give Saxton a matchbook and he still wouldn't be able to light a fire. Hey! The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Dallas, Texas, the Ring of Honor Women's Champion, I.T. Gentlemen, I think this one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait. Title defense or not, she will always leave it all in the ring.
Oh, great. You know, I have something I need to say about... Shh. It's Chelsea. And from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green! Chelsea Green won many major titles from independent promotions, but now is one of the top names in WWE. Uh, and Michael, she's pretty much annoyed every general manager she's ever encountered along the way, too. Chelsea's ready to make a hot mess out of the competition tonight. And here's a champion who has become a real object of fascination among loyal fans. Proof positive that when you take control of your own destiny, you can accomplish big dreams. Now that she has a title around her waist, everyone is waiting to see what happens next. She doesn't need to worry about losing her gold tonight in this non-title match, but momentum is everything. And as a champion, you never want to be seen as slipping. But Chelsea Green, for all her personal flaws, isn't someone to overlook in the ring. Personal flaws, Saxton. I hope she heard that and reports you to the manager later for bias. As the WWE Universe is about to see in this match, there's a reason you don't want to cross Chelsea Green. Got their opponent set up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. <laughs> Just brutalizing their opponent with forearms to the side of the face. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Counters on counters, technical prowess on display. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Arm ringer, bang, what a punch. <laughs> oh, gee, straight to the cranium. She's staying elusive. She's feeling the hurt here. Knees meet face. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Delivers the knee. Whoa. Oh, claws piercing into the skin. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Just raining down punches. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. She returns the favor there. What's coming next? A back suplex. <laughs> Able to beat Chelsea to the punch. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef here and now, and that'll be the end of it. Great wherewithal to beat the count. And managed to push off there. Does he? Guillotine apply. And the ropes will break this well. Well, it looks like she got a new lease on life here, Michael. But can she capitalize? Can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Chelsea Green in her clutches. Mitsunoku dropper. Wow. This spells trouble for Chelsea. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. What is it going to take to keep her down? The answer might be more than her opponent can offer. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. 
Rich in the arm. Oh, close line. Full control here. Face for a turnbuckle. Uh oh. Chelsea one step ahead. Oh, float over Russian leg sweep. Oh, setting them up. There's a Canadian destroyer. Wow. Superstar has completely lost it. So much bad blood here. Wasting little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. And these two did not want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally able to get things under control. The tensions between these competitors almost completely disrupted this match. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. This match is a power keg, ready to blow. Emotions are running very high between these superstars. Well, that's one explanation for the unchecked violence we witnessed before the bell. Working on the leg. Stretching out the knee. Oh. And an elbow, too. Oh, driving the foot into the jaw. Ah, oh, foot right in the throat. Brutal. The young veteran, Alba Fire, definitely not someone to take lightly in this one. Corey, what do you think the game plan has to be against someone who's experienced and in your face is Alba? It's simple, Cole. If you're facing off against Alba Fire, you can't play her game. Trying to match her blow for blow, trying to match her energy, not gonna happen. You need to let her burn bright and fast, and then take advantage when the flame's extinguished. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Alba shifts that to her favor. Toss back into the ring. Out of the way in time. She's beginning to flag a little. Fire making that look almost effortless. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Double knees, good night. She could pair her opponent right here. Show her up and the referee ends the count. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Fire got out of the way. Alba Fire! Is it enough? The cover! Two! Kick out! She just dug down deep. 
deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. The scary Queen of Scots with a royal gesture to the crowd here. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow! Roxanne Perez just all fired up, dropping her opponent. And nice clothesline delivered by Perez. Oh, and an uppercut by the off the tooth. She's looking for the win. And she fights it off. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Ooh, dropped right on their face. And able to counter. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. And hammer it away! And Alba only finds herself on the defensive. And look. Roxanne Perez looking for Pop Rocks. Will that overtake Alba? It's all over. Roxanne Perez comes up big with a win. Here is your winner, Roxanne Perez. What a victory. That's how you take down an opponent. That's certainly one way of looking at it. It is true they did whatever they had to do to get the win. A loss like this is what happens when you fail to expect the unexpected. Well, I think they expected a normal sanctioned match from bell to bell. Well, just like I said, prepare for what you don't expect. Buckle up, it's time for the highlight of the night. When Ricochet is on your screen, prepare to witness an athletic spectacle like you've never seen before. Clearly not expected. And things breaking down before the match even starts. At a certain point, you have to be ready for something like this. You get caught sleeping, you deal with the consequences. The ref motioning to get in the ring now. Yeah, I think the referee's at the end of their rope. You can only push a referee so far, Corey. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. The DDT to follow. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Well, not the biggest superstar in the WWE locker room. Ricochet certainly makes up for that in other areas. Absolutely, Cole. Everyone notices Ricochet's speed and agility, but don't overlook the man's strength. When Ricochet throws all of his power behind his attacks, they are bone-shaking. Good timing with that reversal. And Devon Dudley turning it around. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Crushing knee strike. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. Thrown back in under the ropes. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Sax. 
Austin, and I love it. And Diva Dudley wants more from his opponent. Setting up. Nice suplex. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And Ricochet being put in his place a bit. Yeah, watching Devon aggressively work the opposition. And it's a long way down from there. Gets him with the counter. He got whipped into that corner, using the elbow as a weapon. Puts the boot to the midsection. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Misses! And he barely evades. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Oh, oh. elbow to the face. He's absorbing some tough hits now. That's one of my all-time favorites. Showing off there some... Oh, what a reversal and counter by him. Dangerous spot for him to be in. Devon setting his opponent up. Will test the fight? And he goes for the pin. And he fights it off. Good lord, scarily close to three. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Devon. Points to the pump. And try it from down with saving grace. And Ricochet is out. Two. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. Where is Ricochet finding these reserves? How did he kick out of that? That was plan A, and it didn't work. He must be thinking about plan B at this point. Got a feel for Ricochet looking beaten down at this point. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Lifted high into the electric chair position. This is going to be bad. Wait a minute. And the Hurricane Rana puts an end to that offense. Wow, what a drop kick. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Punishing their opponent. Honing in on the arm there. Punching their way out of that one. Opponent down with a Yurinagi. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Look at that, countering Ricochet. Look at this, going counter for. Oh, look at this. Nice. But can Ricochet close this? Two count. He kicked out at two. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. And Ricochet pulled out all the stops there, but it didn't get... If this lands, it's over. Phoenix Splash! For the win! Two! And a kick out at two. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Uh-oh. what? Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Ow! Now he's just having his way with Devon. Seeing some bone-shaking power behind those attacks as Ricochet takes advantage. And he throws the opposition back into the ring.
Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Ricochet now showing off some impressive power. Whoa! What a Samoa drive play and toss him. Shoulders down! No, he gets the shoulder up. That is just pure instinct at this point. Wow, what a drop kick. The pace is quick and thanks to Ricochet. Devon showing weakness here. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Just striking at will. Capped off with a DDT. And this has got to be it. Fights out at two. How in the world did he kick out? Vicious right forearm. Listen to this place. It's electric. Headed to the top rope. Uh-uh. No way. Shooting star pressed by Ricochet. Beautiful. There's two. He did it. He did it. Here is your winner. An aggravating loss for Devon Dudley. You gotta think this loss only makes Devon a more dangerous man in the end. Straight out of Dudleyville and into the fire. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville. Weighing in at 326 pounds, the Marine Dudley. A tag team legend, but has no problem being a bully on his own. And there's no separation anxiety on his own for Bubba. He's extremely comfortable competing at a table for one. When it comes to Bubba Ray, prepare for a crash landing. Now, Bubba Ray Dudley is his own brand of tough. Oh, no. Not this guy again. And his opponent, from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds. Dude, love! Here comes the coolest cat in sports entertainment history. You guys remember when Dude Love actually won the tag team titles with Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yeah, and then later almost defeated Austin for the WWE Championship. Nice 
sure hope that dude love is better in the ring than he is on the dance floor. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Got to find a way to get out of this. Landed face first. He finds a counter for Bubba Ray. Oh, spike face first. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. He skirts around it. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Bubba Ray Dudley hyping up the crowd. From the top, all the way to the outside. Just crashing down with high impact. Elbow drop. Piercing. As ridiculous as Dude Love is, no one can deny just how dangerous McFoley is. Isn't that right, Cole? It is. And McFoley really needs to tap into that dangerous side in this one. Stop dancing, start attacking, and things will be groovy for the Dude. Uh oh! No! Line. Bang! Vicious boot. And now that's some nasty offense imposed on Dude Love. Dodges. Oh, right in there. Crowd riled up right. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Oh. Swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Whoa. He is delivering Ooh. elbow after elbow. Two. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh. And what a maneuver we just saw there. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. intent when you deal damage out on the apron. Knee lift! And will this be it? And he manages to kick out in one. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Had that one scouted. There was nothing peaceful or loving about that. Dude Love knows how to ramp up the puck. Looks like we're about to see some sweet chin music. Or maybe not kicked down low. Double DDT. That could be Bubba Ray's demise. Makes the cover. What in the world? 
presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. That was the home run shot that got robbed at the fence. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And he's able to fight. Oh, look out. It's on now. Bang. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. Shifts it back onto him. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. He do love with the wherewithal to counter. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Uh-oh, what are they going to do? Oh, right to the face. Right to the back of the neck. And again. Enough. That's just a beat down. Tuning up the band. Wait a minute. Sweet shin music. <laughs> I love it. Exclamation delivered by Duke Love. the cover. On oh, shoulder looking for a three. They had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much is left after that? That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. There's not much room out there. D, D, T, face first. Dude loved with the dodge. And now gets tossed into the ring. Boom, what a forearm. What are we about to see next? Whiplash, neck breaker. He may get the three count right here. This is it. This one's over, folks. Dude Love picks up the win. I can already hear the expletives flying from Bubba. He is not happy with the way this match went. I'm feeling the chills up and down my spine that come with the arrival of the Dragon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing in at 235 pounds, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, tremendously respected by the WWE Universe. What an ovation here. A list of accolades a mile long. A proud, talented competitor. A true wrestler's wrestler. And a true inspiration to anyone who has stepped inside the ring. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat.
I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. One of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. The OC commands respect wherever they go, and their opponents had better be ready to show it. Certainly earn the respect, and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. A gifted in-ring technician and a gifted braggart. Weighing in at 178 pounds, Supernova 11, Noam Dar. Noam Dar, the first ever Israeli-born WWE superstar. The Scottish Supernova has done Scotland and Israel proud. The only man to hold the NXT UK Heritage Cup Championship more than once. That's a testament to the pure wrestling skills of the Scottish Supernova. Throughout his career, Dar has burned bright like a Supernova. And trust me, that's not just a metaphor. And here comes one of my favorites. And from Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds, Jules Robinson. Some would say the superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun. Heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. Yeah. What? That is horrible advice. He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. This is great. Legal superstars now in the ring, and the referee signals for the bell. I wouldn't go anywhere. Don't even blink. This has classic written all over it. Dropping the knee for more punishment. Cover, cover. No, he kicks out. I think this match still has a ways to go. Oh, man, that'll bend your arm. And that holds Dar back. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Comes in off the tag. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. Focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. Carl wards that attack off. He's turning the tables. Oh, just turn that around. Lighten up the chest and now 
straight to the knee. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Big time atomic drop. I don't have you walking funny. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. And that prevents any offense from Carl. Hooked up. <sighs> Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Half kick right on point. Uh-oh. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. Ooh, got caught with a punch to the face. with an elbow. Ouch! A counter answered by another counter. Big knee to the midsection. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Forearm. He thinks he has it. The kick out. He's not even close to being done yet. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Ball and forearm smash. He gets tagged in. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Uh oh. Reversal from Noam Dahl. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, right across the solar plexus. Ooh, pounding the breadbasket. Climbing up to the top now. From the top, double stomp. Cover. Two. Somehow escaped before the pinfall. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Dar has his shot lined up. Anderson with the wherewithal to avoid that. Stalling Buster. Cover. Maybe not. The breakup. He's looking poised to finish Noam off. Anderson. Anderson with the gun stun. Oh, man, oh. seal things up. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. Hooked up in the corner. Exploder suplex. This could be it. Cover for the win. Shoulder shoots up before two. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Down. Oh, Northern Lights! Gets tagged in. Nice running crossbody. For the win! Two! Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh. Steamboat isn't looking good as he stirs back up. Are we about to see it? DDT! Win. Steamboat's in serious danger! And these guys are trying to prove they belong in the main event, that they are on top of the mountain here. Big time confidence leading to big time matches. I love it. Fisherman suplex. Beautiful swinging neck breaker.
simple but effective side headlock takeover. Really wrenching it. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Uh-oh. Inhuman at this point. Oh, swinging neck breaker. Swinging neck breaker connects. A non-stop assault from the Dragon. Steamboat is proving hard to keep up with. Oof. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. He may not be. This is dangerous territory for both athletes. The ring apron. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. And Steve wants more from his opponent. Right to the knee, round and round. Ruthless. Ooh. Oh, oh, man. He's struggling a bit here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Side headlock takeover, nicely done. Tremendous pressure applied. The fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Okay. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. Hard to watch, too. And Steamboat's in control. Gonna be hard to stop Steamboat here. And we're cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You could say that again. Time to get the let up. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Has the leg trapped. Fisherman suplex. Countered it just in time. Kick to the face. Exclamation delivered by Noah. Near fall. Somehow, someway escapes defeat. Still alive. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. And listen to this place. And wow, check out Ricky's face after that. Right across the chest. Across the shoulders, up and up. Gut check. Into the cover. Oh. Two. How have we not claimed a winner yet? You gotta believe that not wanting to feel the agony of defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Oh, close line! All eyes focused on this absolute war. It doesn't get more masterful than this. Just cranking the head. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And off the tag is Carl Anderson. Big double axe handle. Carl gets jolted by the counter. These two training counters and an absolute master class. Hits him with the counter. Back 
and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Lights out. DDT connects. Cover! And he only stays down for a one count. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. What a counter! Uh-oh. Oh, no sidekick! Tags him in. team is just tremendous working together double teams and it's about to get worse oh draping double axe handle able to get there in time saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow Ooh. Close to ending it all there. No! Tagged in. Ooh. There it is. Snap suplex. Steamboat cuts him off. Trapping both of their opponent's arms and hoisting up. Double chicken wing submission. His partner's got to be thankful for that. What a save. And that holds Dar back. Oh, saw what was coming and answers with the clothesline. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Oh, will it be? An exhausting match, but a victory he'll savor forever. Here are your winners. Noam Dorn and Jules. This pairing pain, strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. Really putting the sports in sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork.
It's time to get out of the way. The fastest rising star is in the building. And we're about to see whose game it is. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Yeah. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, LA Knight. LA Knight will hand out a beat down to anybody, any night of the week. It doesn't matter to him. You know, for years, people tried to tell L.A. Knight he needed to step up his game to get to the WWE. Well, now Knight's letting people know that they need to step up to his level. It's time to stand up and show some respect to the future of WWE, Seth Rollins. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. The man who bought in. The man who knows what's best for business. Oh, more like the man who sold out, who proved he cares about no one but himself. Well, it's lonely at the top, Saxton, and that's exactly where Rollins wants to be. And when the architect has his sights set on something, it's only an inevitability. Sometimes it can be hard to tell just how good Seth Rollins really is. But he really is capable in the ring. We've seen that before and will no doubt see that tonight. Well, I'd say he's more than capable. Rollins believes he's on a whole other level. And it's hard to argue against that. There we go. Superstars finally enter the ring and we are officially underway. Mark stomping out. Oh, kick right to the back. And here we go now. Well placed elbow to the leg. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. Oh, what a really great swinging neck breaker. Vicious right forearm. And finds a counter. Oh, that's just insulting. LA Knight got showing up. Wait, 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 wait! Stops the ref count before two. He clearly has no intention of staying down. He's got him down. Is this it? Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Keeping a loss at bay for now. He turns it around. Ooh, knee drop connects. Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager is just making sure the area is safe for his client. Big time knee, Lariat combo. This drop. There's the setup. Here we go, Byron. Perfectly orchestrated offense. Rollins' mind is certainly in the game now. Picture perfect drop kick. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Rollins 
with a head of steam. Big air. Oh, stop. Looks like LA Knight got busted up there. It is all Rollins now. The cover. He kicks out somehow. No telling how much surviving that will come, though. I don't know how someone kicks out of that. I don't know how you can still be standing. There is no way that was what Seth Rollins was expecting. He thought this match was his. Uh-oh! Oh, and Knight fights back. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. The King Slayer is dominating. Just looking to do his... Oh, my God! No salt! You see that height? Seth Rollins is your winner. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins. LA Knight upset by the loss here. Rollins came in with a plan and executed it. He knew it was surefire. Well, I didn't, but there is no question that Rollins won big here. The punishment of the Judgment Day is here. Damian Priest, an intimidating figure who prides himself on being pure evil. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. The size of Damian Priest his intensity, he is easily one of the most imposing superstars in WWE. From the moment the Archer of Infamy sets his sights on you, you know you're in trouble. When Priest goes after someone, he does not miss. Multiple title reigns in his career already, but Priest wants even more. And there's nobody who can stand in his way. And here he comes. And his opponent from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 220 pounds, Kenny Oh. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you?
Somehow this superstar needs to avoid allowing the Punisher to rule over this match with fear. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, if this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Forearm right to the jaw. What a launch. I'm surprised the rope didn't collapse. Stop after stop after stop. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Oh, what an elbow high in the chin. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Just stretching out the arm. That can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. Taking this outside. This could be good. The Irish curse. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Four. Oh! Priest able to adapt. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. He is delivering elbow after elbow. his plan here dropping the elbow right on the knee when facing an opponent like Damian Priest it seems like the cards are stacked against you from the start Corey how can an opponent even the deck this isn't a poker game Cole Priest's MO is to slow things to his pace his opponent needs to disrupt that pace and set their own tempo whip back into the ring Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. What a He can do it here. Kick out at one. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Wards off that offense from Priest. Uh-oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. Getting dropped on your head like that is not something you want to be doing often. He takes control. Ooh. He's looking a little weary now. Statement being made by Priest. Power behind every maneuver he lays in. Break right in the face. My God. Obviously still has some fight left. My, oh my, what elevation. Uh-oh. Saw that one coming. This is just brute power. Release German. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Heading to the pay window. And a strong kick out in one. Wow. The springboard attack. Damien Priest, crucifix. Able to counter neckbreaker. Uh oh, and he has an answer for Priest. Stop, puller, pile driver. I don't think Priest knows what's coming. Long way up in the electric chair. Driver! Did that finish Priest off? Two! What? Only two? 
Damian Priest rising from the brink with a hell of a kick out. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. their opponent down, made a rope rush with a moonsault. Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. And Priest fends it off. Damian Priest, grip locked in, son of heaven choke slam. Priest ended this fight. There's two! Guys, he put him away. That's a pretty big win. Here is your winner, Damian Priest. Damian Priest with a thunderous victory there. Priest inflicted his particular brand of punishment, and it sure paid off. They're here! The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 431 pounds. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. One of the all-time greats, the Hall of Famer, Latino Heat. First, from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. And without question, one of the most pivotal superstars in the history of our industry. Now you're right, Byron, a true hero on both sides of the Monday Night Wars. From WCW Cruiserweight Innovator to WWE Champion and Hall of Famer. Well, Eddie Guerrero was always seen as an underdog. Granted, he would cheat on occasion to even the playing field, but hey, how can he not get behind a guy like Latino Heat? From dashing to demented, Cody Rhodes is here. A horrible fate for this formerly handsome young man. And from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cody Rhodes! Oh, just look at this disfigured monster. Oh, come on, Corey. You can see plain as day under that mask. 
Nothing's changed. I see pure ugliness. Nothing could be worse than this. Maybe a mustache? Well, Cody is about to take out his aggression, and he says it's going to be ugly. Well, if anyone knows ugly, it's Cody Rhodes. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Ooh, wicked clothesline! <laughs> Fires back with a crucial elbow. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Great reversal. Eddie's attack. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Tag is registered. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great hot play and possum. Shoulders down. And the referee stops the count before two. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Paying it right back with a reversal. Uh oh. A well timed dodge. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Into an arm breaker. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yes, yeah, Cody clearly came into this fight with something to prove. Just look at him now. And up the turnbuckles we go. From the top. Elbow drop. Off into the pin. And he breaks the count quickly. Close call, but not enough yet. A face buster knee smash. That looks painful. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. Harsh forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Ooh. into the inverted DDT. Lives to fight another day. Punch right in the head. Oh, he retaliates. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Ooh. with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Left by the turnbuckles. Uh-oh. Face first. Uh-oh. And Cody Rhodes reverses. Denied with an elbow. A stalemate of counters. What's he putting together? Down with the goal buster! Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. He finds a counter 
for Rhodes. As the wrist trapped. Uh, and this is just next level brutality. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Stiff forearm shot. This is not going to end well. Count out may be imminent here. Really testing fate right now. Nine. Ten. Wow, got it. Big time tag team winners. The team of Eddie Guerrero and Cody Rhodes. Falling victim to the ref's count. This one is over. The referee's count is more than enough time to get back in the ring. The loser only has themselves to blame. 